Welcome back to the Chad Hasty Show, News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM. KFYO, if you're looking for something fun to do this Saturday, we've got an event for you coming up. It's the uh, Cork and Pork uh, with the High Plains uh, Wine and Food Foundation. And this is actually benefiting our good friends over at Mills on Wheels. We've got Mary Gerlock from Mills on Wheels back in studio. How are you? Good. It's good Great. to be back here. It's been a little while. I know it has been a while. And uh, Amy Thomas with the High Plains uh, Wine and Food Foundation. Welcome. All right, thanks, Ted, for having me in today. Absolutely. Uh, tell folks about this event coming up on uh, on Saturday. All right. Well, um, this is our Cork and Pork. It's our third annual year to have this. And, um, of course, we're benefiting Mills on Wheels. Your ticket's going to include two drink tickets, um, a roasted pig. Robert Wood and his award-winning barbecue team are going to be roasting a pig. There'll be live music by Gypsy Jane. And it's going to be held at our premier sponsor, which is McPherson Cellars. Yeah. So we'll have it out there. Always a uh, always a great place. What time does this get started? It starts at six o'clock and goes till ten, and then we're also going to have a silent auction. Okay, that night. great. And so a lot of ways people can get involved. Uh, how how can people buy tickets, and how much are tickets to the event? So tickets for the event, if you're not a member of High Plains Wine and Food, are fifty five dollars. And um, if you look us up on our Facebook page or our website, and you can get tickets there. And the website is www.ht. Beep, beep. I'll have to look it up. I have to, sorry. <laughs> you can Google High Plains. High Plains so, Wine yeah, and Food. Wine and yes. Food Foundation. <laughs> it's easy enough. Uh, you've also got a, uh, a Facebook page that people yes. can go to. Yes. Uh, and they can click on that, get the, the tickets and everything else. Yes. And that goes straight to the ticket link. Yeah. Uh, all, all right. Uh, Mary, how does this benefit Meals on Wheels? Well, I'll give you one more ticket hint. You can get them on our website, too. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Love at MealsOnWheels.org. So... There's no reason not to get a ticket. Yeah. Um, well, things like this, we were really excited to hear that the, the Wine and Food Foundation had chosen to to benefit us. Makes a big difference because we don't receive government funds, not a United Way funded agency. And it helps allow us not only to do what we already do, but also to expand. And so um, we're actually able to do that right now. And it's because of local Local events. Like well, this as, as Lubbock continues us. to grow, y'all have grown as well. You've yeah. added more routes. There are obviously a lot more people who are benefiting from y'all services. Two weeks ago, we started our 60th route. And when I first started coming to talk to you, I think we had 51. Yeah. Um, we're serving a, a little over 830 people and we're opening or expanding into Wolf Earth today. All right. So. Well, how can people get uh, more information about Meals on Wheels? Same place you can get the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, MealsOnWheels.org. And if you know anybody in the Wolfworth area that you think needs services, give us a call or check out our website. If people don't get tickets in advance, can they get them at the door? Or do they need to get them in advance? No, they can get them in advance and they are available that evening at the door. Okay. And it's going to be happening at McPherson uh, from 6 to 10 p.m. this Saturday. Uh, tell folks a, a little bit about the High Plains Wine and Food Foundation. High Plains Wine and Food now, the foundation is a really great organization. Um, what we do is we have three main fundraisers throughout the year. Our kitchen crawl that we use the don the funds from that, the proceeds from that, to do high school scholarships and college scholarships for kids in the wine and food areas. Yeah. And then um, we have our big reds and barbecue. And this year we chose to benefit Helms for Heroes with that. Evie May hosted that for us, and we had a bunch of. Uh, local Texas wineries that were involved with that as well. And we were able to donate $20,000 to um, Homes for Heroes. And then with our Cork and Pork this year, we always choose a local charity to donate. And we went with Meals on Wheels. And then monthly, it's just a great organization because it's just social. Monthly, we meet at different restaurants, different locations, and have a what we call wine after work. Come mm -hmm. in, you have a glass of wine, you have some more d'oeuvres, visit socially. 5.30 to 7.30, the third Tuesday of every month. That's great. And people can, uh, it's, it's always open for membership. People can join whenever. Absolutely. It's always open for membership. It's a it's a great cost for what you get throughout the year. And then um, the best place to find information is on our Facebook page. That's right. Uh, the uh, Cork and Pork uh, benefiting Meals on Wheels being put on uh, by the High Plains Wine and Food Foundation this Saturday from 6 to 10 over at McPherson Cellars. Uh, you can go on to uh, Lubbock Meals on Wheels 
uh, the, their website to get tickets. Uh, they've got a Facebook event page going uh, as well, and you can also uh, find uh, High Plains Wine and Food Foundation online as well and get tickets. Ladies, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Chad Easty Show, KFYO.